stay away from that. There was another TV series of cartoons called Butt Ugly Martians, all computer generated, uh, kind of pathetic. And another Armitage series from uh, Japan, Dual Matrix. So here's a look at Red Planet. We had overpopulated the Earth and depleted its resources. It had become clear that mankind wasn't going to survive. You want to help me with Amy? Cute, huh? Not really. She could have hurt me. It's a queer knife, but inside she's all green blue. To avoid extinction, we had to find a new home, which brought us here. To find a good parking space? To the scarred surface of the fourth planet from the sun. Good day. Lock it up, gentlemen. We're eating dinner on Mars. Mark Ground, this is Mark One. Can you hear me over? Mark Ground, this is Mark One. Can you call me over? Mark Brown, this is Mark One. Do you hear me? I can breathe. I can breathe. How can that be? That is impossible. This is algae. There's algae here. But that isn't going to help us, is it? Same. It's in the military mode. Crash must have flipped it. We need to find shelter immediately. Now. What's that? I can see one person down. What the hell is going on here? Sooner or later, so if I search and destroy, on your right now, and she'll come and kill us. Sitting in the theater watching that, I thought, wow, this is a great film. And then he opens his space helmet and just completely took me out of the film from there on out. Watch for the very first uh, Mars mission here. has a Mars Direct style habitat set up. This is a truly anomalous formation. It's unlike anything that we've seen so far. We're trying not to go too nuts up here, but we think there's a good chance that this could be water. Of course, if that's correct, then we may have found the key to permanent human colonization. Yes. OK, we're ready to light this candle. Let's go to Mars. Another film that 
sitting there in it and was really enjoying it. And then the whole face on Mars thing just took me right out of the film. Fatal flaw in that. Okay, John Carpenter came in with uh, Ghost on Mars, which isn't, it could be a Western film that just takes place on Mars and a uh, big shoot 'em up. Uh, one of the best films that, uh, best Mars films, in my opinion, that I've ever seen is Stranded, a little film from Spain, but it's in English. You can rent it at the video stores. It was only a $4 million budget, but it's one of the strongest uh, Mars films I've ever seen. There was a sci-fi channel quality film called Project Viper with uh, Teresa Russell. She phoned in her performance and they ran out of money and didn't have enough time to finish the special effects. So avoid that if you can. Lost on Mars was another you know, group of kids with video cameras and they did a, a series, Lost on Mars and Empire of Danger. Uh, it's an interesting look at low budget filmmaking. Um, the digital revolution came and they gave us, you know, little high def cameras like we see in the back of the room here. And uh, Destination Mars is actually one of my, my favorite films too. It's actually a remake, a lost film from the 1940s or 50s, but it was shot in 2002 on a little digital camera. Uh, Japanese anime called Spirit of Wonder, the movie. But here's a look at John Carpenter's uh, Ghosts of Mars. was arrested on the suspicion of murdering six rail workers. The bodies were hung and decapitated. But here, a million miles from home. Hello? Anybody here? Drop your weapon. I ain't going back. They're about to discover nothing is what it seems. We've got a situation there. Nobody in the mine's gone inside. What the hell is going on out there? Whatever used to live here, we woke it up. It takes us. I'm talking about a kind of possession. Something's kicking out there. We need us, and we need you. None of us is going to survive if we all stick together. Come on. Time to stay alive. Time I saved your life. Yeah, what a town! From the master of terror. Go, go! John Carpenter's Ghosts of Mars. Damn, girl. I like you already. Okay, here's a look at that little $4 million, which is low budget these days, by the way, uh, film, Stranded. Again, go rent it. It's 298 days since the first manned mission to Mars. We're now going into orbit around the red planet. We've crashed. Module cannot sustain the five of us. We're in the most unlivable place you can imagine. How many can survive? I don't want to die. There's always a way to survive. Look over there. What's that? It doesn't seem to be natural. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's just something weird. Is it possible? You have to do it. There's air here. We could survive. Okay, the next film I actually know the, the filmmakers on, and they've let me take this around at conventions all the time. I think at the UCLA convention in uh, 2007, I showed this. This is Destination Mars. I'm afraid it's not good, Commander. It seems the Earthlings have developed a weapon so powerful as to destroy everything in our whole galaxy, including our planet. It's 
seems the intransigence of the foolish earthlings may be the one expedient that will sever their last hope for salvation. This could be the final chapter for mankind as a fleet of Martian warships from the planet Mars descend upon our planet. I've been reading about. Yes. Say, are all you Martians female? On our planet, there's but one gender. One gender? But how? How do you reproduce? Everything is done via our robo insemination machine. Call me old fashioned, but that sounds a little impersonal to me. You mean there are other ways? If I weren't getting engaged, I'd show you the full curriculum from A to Z. Well, maybe you shall anyway. Prepare to witness the Martian diabolical plan. You remember all those reports last month about them flying saucers? Say, you don't think. Maybe I don't, maybe I do. To transform our death into an army of unkillable titans of destruction. Unite to defeat the onslaught of these unearthly invaders. Is an animated series, a TV series that takes place on Mars. A uh, little no budget film called Mutant Swingers from Mars. I've never been able to get my hands on a copy. Uh, Cowboy Bebop the movie is actually based on the TV series of a couple years ago. We'll see a clip from that. And uh, they came out with a three season episode of, or yeah, three season series of Duck Dodgers in the 21st, 24th and a half century. Uh, we've been showing those as part of our Mars movie night. Uh, there's also Close Encounters of the Fourth Kind, Infestation from Mars. You're about to experience phenomena that's sweeping the nation oh yeah it's happening 72 are confirmed dead and 425 injured. Under those circumstances, we certainly can't rule out the possibility of bioterrorism. The government of Mars has posted a reward of 300 million wulong. What the hell is it? Playtime's over. Put your hands behind your head. Go on. Pull the trigger. I blow the bounty if I blow you away. 